Hey everyone, this is Bhargav Suthar and today we will learn what is a lattice and what is a sub lattice. So in this session we will discuss some more examples of a lattice and also uh, one or two examples of a sub lattice. So first let us recall what is a lattice. So a lattice it is a post set a less than or equals to in which every subset of A has a least upper bound that means LUB as well as the GLB. Now uh, what is a lattice operators let us recall. So in lattice, uh, LUB of A and B, it is denoted by the symbol A or B and we can say uh, it is known as this A join B and in same manner GLB of A and B, it is denoted by this A and B and it is known as A meet B. Now we already know all this, okay. Now let us discuss example. So the question is determine whether the following Hayes diagram represent lattice or not. Now see in previous session we already uh, discussed two or three examples of a lattice. Okay and it was a lattice. Now in this example it won't be a lattice. Fine. I'm giving you the answer it won't be a lattice. So the uh, this is the Hayes diagram. Fine. So first we'll create a LUB table and as well as GLB table. So in the table first how many points are there A, B, C? There are six points. So in column, just write A, B, C, D, E, and F. In same manner, in row, write A, B, C, D, E, F. Now it is the least upper bound. So what will be the least upper bound? The same point that is A. Now A and B. So least upper bound of A and B. So it will be C. Now least upper bound of A and C. So least upper bound of A and C that will be C. Now A and D. So A and D. So it will be D then a and e a and e it will be e and a and f it will be f fine now second for b okay now b and a uh, in a and b it was c so here it will be c now b and b as it is the same point so it will be b now b and c okay so it will be c then this b and d it will be d now b and e this b and e it will be e and b and f so it will be f then c now for C and A, what was in A and C? It was C. So here it will be C. Now for C and B, what was in B and C? It was C. So here it will be C. And then C and C, as it is the same point, so it will be C. Now for C and D, C and D, it is D. Now C and E, the C and E, so E. Then C and F, C and F, so it will be F. Okay. Now for D, now D and A, uh, in A and D, it was D, so it will be D. Now D and B, in B D it was D, so D. Now uh, D and C, in C D it was D, so it will be D. And D and D, as it is the same point, so it will be D. Now D and E, this D and E, so E. And last D and F, this D and F, it will be F, fine. Now E, the pair E. Now E and A, so E and A, so it will be E, E and B. So E and B, it will be E, E and C, it will be E, E and D, it will be E, E and E, it will be E. Now C, E and F, now E and F and the least upper bound. Now for E and F, as you can see that there is no upper bound. So there won't be a least upper bound. So that means it is 5. So we will just put dash over here. Okay. Now F, for F and A, so all will be F. Okay. So F, then F then F, then F, then F, and F and E. So it will be dash. And last F and F, it will be F. So as you can see that in LUB table, there is one pair in which they, they don't have LUB. Fine. Now same graph. And now we will create a GLB table. That means greatest lower bound. So in the table, this is the GLB symbol. Now A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay. So in column A, B, C, D, E, F. Now in same manner in row. Now you can see that this A and D. So it will be A as it is the same point. Now A and B. A and B uh, then its greatest lower bound. Now you can see that A and B does not have a lower bound. Why? Now you can see that this A and B does not have a lower bound. So it won't have the greatest lower bound. So that means this pair does not have GLB. So we'll put just dash. Now A and C. So it will be A. Then A and D. Now A and D. So it will be A. Now A and E. A and E. So it will be A. And A and F. It will be A. Fine. Now B. Now A, B and A. In A, B it was dash. 
so same manner this b a it is it will be dash now b and b as it is the same point it will be b now b and c this b and c and greatest lower bound so b now b and d it will be b again b and d it will be b again and last also it will be b again now c c and a in a and c it was a so here it will be a now c and b so in b c it was b so here it will be b now c c it is the same point so c now c and d so c and d it will be c c and d it will be c c and f it will be c then d and a so in a and d it was a so it will be a then d b in b d it was b so b then d c in c d it was c so c and d d it is the same point so d okay now d and e the c and d so it will be d and d and f so it will be d fine now e and a this e and a so a so except uh, c here it is the uh, upper bound fine so for e and any pair so this will be the answer this a b c d e and now e and f what will the greatest lower bound this d fine now for f now uh, in same manner uh, a b c d and for e the answer will be d and last for f it will be f okay so here you can see that there is no lub uh, of the pair f and d and same manner there is no glb for the pair this a and b so uh, as there doesn't uh, all the pairs does not have glb and lub so hence it is not a lattice now let us discuss what is a sub lattice so the definition let l less than or equals to be a lattice now a non empty subset s of l it is called a sub lattice of l if this a or b belongs to s and a and b belongs to s that means it is one is joined and another is one is meet whenever this a belongs to s and b belongs to s so let us discuss in example consider the lattice l and determine whether or not each of the following is a sub lattice of l or not see now we have four sets l1 l2 l3 and l4 and the haze diagram is given fine so we'll one by one check whether it is a lattice or not sub lattice or not now a subset it is a sub lattice if it is closed under this uh, or and end that means it has lub and gl fine so uh, the first subset l a b m so where is l a uh, b and m fine so the subset l1 it is not a sub lattice why see for sub lattice uh, this uh, consider this set l a b and m so its lub and glb has to belong in the same set that means in the uh, l1 fine so just consider l and a so l a what is the glb and lub of l and a so one is l and another is a so can you find a pair in which the glb and lub does not belongs to l1 so uh, is there any pair so you can see that what is uh, where is a and b so a and b so a and b it's a lub least upper bound that is c but c does not belongs to the given set l1 that means it is not a sub lattice so for sub lattice it has to be closed under uh, lub and glb so l1 is not a sub lattice now for l2 now for l2 and l3 we will consider uh, we will discuss only one so l a e and m so l a this e and m so e and m what is the glb and lub that is m and e so they are in the set now l and a so a and l so they are also in the set now for a and m or l and e you can check for any pairs so the lub and glb belongs to the same set l2 fine and in same manner l3 will be a let sub lattice now for l4 just give me one pair in which lub or glb does not belong to the same set so the pair is c and d now c and d so you can see that uh, the c and d what will the greatest lower bound the greatest lower bound will be a but a does not belong to the given set so that means it is not a sub lattice so this is how you can find whether it is a sub lattice or not thank you